Hi, thanks for stopping by and welcome to my channel. I have over three totes of fall decor and I'm always excited about fall, the colors that come in. I love colors. I love the white farmhouse style, but I also love color. I also picked up a few extra things this year like these pillows and I will be displaying them in my living room, show you at a, a later video. And this little Dollar Tree hangy thing, I'm going to show you in just a second. It's really not my cup of tea, but Shannon at da Daily DIY has a really good craft idea for that. So I'm excited about using that. So grab your favorite cuppa and join me. Welcome back. One of the first things that I do before I begin to decorate for a season or a holiday is deep clean the room. And then in my dining room, I start with the chandelier and I decorate it first. Once I feel like I've got that done, I'm ready to go. And by the way, I have done a detailed video on how I decorate my chandelier and as soon as I get that edited I will be sure to post it and tag this video with it. I fill in all the blank spots or spots where I use floral wire. In order to cover that up I just use some picks that I've had for a long time and it doesn't take away and looks nice on the chandelier. I have three shark's teeth compotes. One is a triple, one is a double, and one is a single. I used to collect this, but I found the shark's teeth break very easily, then I have to pitch the dish. So these three have survived with no chips and no breaks, and I use them every season. And like I did last year, I have filled them with gourds. This one, the triple compote, has triple go has colorful gourds. This double compote will have white gourds in it. And right now it is in my dining room. It may migrate to my kitchen. We will see. But for right now, I like where it is. And you will see that later on in this video. Those white gourds I picked up at Dollar Tree, I guess, eight or ten years ago. They have been around for a long time. Now, here is my dining room complete. I may do some tweaking later on, but I really love the way it is right now. I like to set my table and keep it set because it keeps my dining room table from being used as a craft table, a desk, an art table, so on and so forth. You get the idea. The bowls I have are from Tuesday morning and I, they have them featured right now. I match them up with a six place setting of stoneware that I have and I'm planning on going back and getting six more plates that way I can mix and match and expand my table setting if I need to. In these bowls I had a stag pheasant and later on in this video you will see the turkey. The placemats, well first I'll talk about this gourd. In one of my older Dollar Tree hauls from a couple of months ago you will see where I picked up some concrete resin gourds and pumpkins. I'll tag that below as well. And this squirrel came from Ross last week. Yes, last week. It is a joke. I hate squirrels, I hate chipmunks, they terrorize me every time I step outside the house, but I thought I've got to have him and I've got to put him in my tablescape for this season and who knows, y'all might see him around a lot over the next few uh, seasons. And there you have my dining room chandelier again. I do have a detailed video coming up and 
and once it is edited, I will post it. By the way, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this particular video, give me a thumbs up at the down below and that way I will know to make more videos like this that you will enjoy seeing. Most of the supplies I use beyond the garland, the garland is the only thing I bought new this year. The rest of it I've had for a long time. These placemats I picked up uh, several years ago, I think, and you will see an ongoing leaf theme throughout my video. Here is the turkey bowl from that I picked up last year from Tuesday morning. I like to use dish towels for my napkins. I will buy them up after season when they are 70% off. And here's another one of those concrete resin pumpkins I got at the Dollar Tree. I am planning on using these as place card settings. I think I can make a label and put that on the leaf or I might can hand write it on there. Here are a couple of others or another set of salt and pepper shakers, part of my salt and pepper shaker collection. And there's the single compote there you see in the background. And that is it for my dining table. Here we have one of my corner cabinet cubbies. The cake plate I am going to leave bare because I want to be able to grab it and use it when I need to use it. Another set of salt and pepper shakers. And here is the tray that I picked up at the uh, world's longest yard sale. I will be sure to tag that on this video. The milk pitcher I picked up at Tuesday, uh, no, TJ Maxx, I think. It has a rooster on the other side. I think it's cute. I can turn it over, flip it over, and then we've got a rooster. And the silks came from everywhere. The two saucers, cups, creamer, and sugar came from Dollar Tree. No, not Dollar Tree. I'm sorry. Tuesday morning, years and years ago. You could probably find them at a thrift store or on eBay. And I've got the bottom photo right here so that if you are looking for that, you can find it on eBay or someplace. The coffee pot is a Macasa pot coffee pot I bought at a rummage sale that we had as a fundraiser for our high school band. We love little munchies, and there's nothing better than caramel corn, pumpkins, and peanuts with a few milk duds mixed in. Oh, my goodness. And there's Mr. and Mrs. Pilgrim. They are early 90s. And I think the price tags are still on the bottom, and they are from TJ Maxx. Yes, I've had them that long since the early 90s. And Mr. Tom Turkey, I've had him since the early 90s as well. I keep thinking he's this is his last leg, but he, he seems to make it. This particular cubby is my white theme with some silver plate in the background. Those salt and pepper shakers came from Old Time Pottery Barn for a dollar each. Yes, a dollar each. I can't believe it. But And here is the three-tiered compote with the colorful gourds. I have it on top of my china cabinet. I don't know if I'll keep it there or swap it out with this. This is usually on top of my china cabinet. And I will place the triple compote in the middle of the tablescape. Well, that concludes our dining room tour for fall 2018. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and if you have done a video of your dining room tour, please write in the comments a link down below. I would love to see your autumn, fall dining room as well.